I think he's the head scientist on this Devil's Breath project. Did you find him? Yes and no. Sable says they have him under protection at a safe house somewhere in the city. But they won't tell me where. I thought you guys were working together. So did I. Okay. I have an idea on how to find him. I'll let you know if it works. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Yeah, but so did Lee. Oh no, what happened? Lee corrupted him and made him kill himself. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. We will. Before Delaney died, he gave Lee a name. Morgan Michaels. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Not sure, but I bet he works on the Devil's Breath project. Have you learned anything from that Devil's Breath file? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. Secret lab? For Devil's Breath? If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. Where's the lab? It's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. Everything leads back to Norman Osborne. Guess it's time to pay him a visit. I doubt he's gonna tell you anything. Wasn't planning to ask. All right, we're here. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. What do we do? I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. Hidoki. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. Yeah, I didn't think he would do that with a phone. That laser is so close to me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh my god. I'm gonna get caught here. Whoa, look at all these lasers, man. Oh man. Alright, here we go. All Sable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. Yeah, the There's next the second one. module. There we go. Come on, come on, come what? on. All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Oh, no. Delta protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Stable teams. I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. This. I feel like I'm gonna ruin this, but I gotta hurry Attention, up. Attention, all Sable teams. There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing Yikes. data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. There it is. Oh, that was so close. Another subsystem is going offline. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy, Control. Bird inbound. Stop her now. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. There's the last one. Oh, oh man. This is nerve wracking. <laughs> I felt like I was gonna get caught. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call. But keep tracking. There must be someone out there. 
Not anymore. I'm inside now. Hold on. Switching to a secure lock. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. Oh, there's I'm Norman. The one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Jackpot. Okay. GR27. Hmm. Let's see here. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. Hmm. Location redacted. AI controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's. This is crazy. High efficiency? Oh no, high efficacy. Consistent results. They did this on rats too? GR27 and the rats died. Creepy. Oh, that's gross. Whoa. GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. Oh no, that's scary. Hey Pete, what's up? MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound? That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Okay, he's bringing out what we call Dr. Octopus. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Oh, she's being held. That's not good. 15 minutes earlier. Reach him. That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. Okay, we're back at MJ now. That gap in the fence looks base. promising. Just need to distract the guard. Right there. Out of the way. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. What the? Okay, let's go around. Going around here. What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Guess what's that? Got it. Time to move. Yeah, there's our guy Standish. right there. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. Come on, 
on, come on. Okay, okay, let's wait till these guys move. This guy out of the way. And we're in. I was a bit nervous, not gonna lie. <laughs> and this is where she gets caught somehow, I guess. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Look. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's it? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a Sable guy. <laughs> Bad timing. Not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. Damn, we couldn't get that message out of him. But they know we're here. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie. Is everything a joke to you? What? MG? No, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. You know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. All right, there we go. Our position. Need backup. All right, we're here. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. All right. Time to hack. Current response time. Okay, looks like I could up. We're done here. Uploading schematic to the helmet. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'm not gonna lie, that's sick. That's cool.
You can see it, right? Him becoming what he needs yes. to become. That's amazing. <laughs> but you kind of need to cool it down, no? I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Nice. Do you need some help? Yes. Connection problems isn't... Doctor, good, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, of boss. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good, Doc. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. All right, we're out.